After spending the la last eight weeks researching the ethical issues of the two cent per ounce sugar tax, I decided that it is important to get out and test a few things. The purpose of this test was to compare the prices, type of sugar in each product, and the amount of sugar that is present in each servin serving. I started by stopping at Sprouts, a local Whole Foods market, after I completed my workout at the gym next door. When I began my search, I noticed that Sprouts does not sell any two liter bottles of soda, and the majority of the soda comes in a six pack. The prices seemed a bit steep, but the ingredients were a little more promising because they did not carry anything with high fructose corn syrup. After I made my purchase, I headed over to the local Walmart Superstore to purchase similar products that could be compared to Sprouts. The store had two aisles dedicated to liquid beverages. One side was juice and soda, and the other aisle had water and other beverages that included coffee, energy drinks, carbonated water, and liquid concentrate. I tried to find the cheapest drinks as they better meet the requirements of someone who may have too little or no money to spend. When I got home, I went through many of the items that I purchased and I decided that it would be best to compare a few of the items that are the same type and advertised with the same flavor. The products that I chose were flavored iced tea, juice boxes, grape soda, and root beer. Everybody tends to love all of these flavors. The first comparison included Fuse Iced Tea from Walmart and Zing Green Peach Tea from Sprouts. Fuse Iced Tea states that it is filled with vitamin B6 and B12 with natural lemon flavor. The main ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. There is 19 grams of sugar per 12 ounce serving. The price of each serving is 17 cents without the two cent tax. But if the state legislature passes this law, it would cost 40 cents per serving. At Sprouts, Zing Green Tea is advertised to contain natural peach flavor sweetened with pure cane sugar and honey. The sweeteners that are used on the nutrition label is just that, cane sugar and honey. The price per serving cost me 33 cents per ounce, a 16 cents per ounce increase compared to Fuse. If the tax was included, Zing Green Tea would cost 49 cents per ounce and the difference in price would be 9 cents per ounce more than Fuse. This, this seems like a more promising deal, but it is important to consider other sugar sweetened drinks. At Walmart, the Minute Maid Cooler's pink lemonade juice pouches are advertised as being a good source of calcium, 100% natural flavor, and 100% vitamin C. This is quite deceiving considering that the sweetener used is high fructose corn syrup. There is 24 grams of sugar per 6.75 ounce serving or one juice pouch. The cost per serving is 23 cents or 36 cents with the tax applied. At Sprouts, I purchased the Honest Kids Organic Juice Berry Berry Good Lemonade. The Honest Kids brand states that there is no high fructose corn syrup, organic, gluten-free, and half the sugar of leading kids drinks. The sweetener used is organic white grape juice and cranberry juice. It contains only nine grams of sugar and the cost per pouch is 60 cents per serving. That is 37 cent increase from the Minute Maid that's made with high fructose corn syrup. I did not add tax to the Honest Kid Brim because I personally feel that it is low enough sugar per serving to say it is not tax worthy. In this scenario, the difference in price would be a 24 cent difference from the price of Minute Maid. The next product that I purchased from Walmart is Grape Crush. Grape Crush claims to be caffeine free with natural and artificial flavors. The secret ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. It contains 43 grams of sugar and cost me 14 cents per serving. But if the state taxes Grape Crush, the price per serving would increase to 36 cents per serving. At Sprouts, I found Hansen's Natural Cane Grape Soda, and it's free of caffeine, preservatives, and sodium. It also has all natural and sweetened and is sweetened with real cane sugar. The cost per 12 ounce serving is 39 grams of sugar and costs 42 cents per serving. That is 28 cent increase from Walmart's Grape Crush. If the Hansen's Natural Cane Grape Soda was taxed, it would cost 66 cents per serving and would cost 30 cents more 
per serving than the Grape Crush. The last product that I compared from Walmart is the Great Value Root Beer, labeled to be caffeine free and is sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. There's 33 grams of sugar for every eight ounces consumed and it costs 11 cents per serving or 27 cents per serving with the two cent per ounce tax. Sprouts sold what I believe holds the best ingredients yet, Zevia Root Beer. Zevia Root Beer has no sugar, no artificial sweeteners, no caffeine, is non-GMO certified, and is made without caramel color. The natural sweeteners used are stevia extract and monk fruit, both known for their naturally sweet flavor and have no calories. One 12 ounce serving has zero grams of sugar, but costs 70 cents per serving. I did not add tax to this one because there is no sugar. The difference between Walmart's Great Value Root Beer and Sprout's Zevia Root Beer is 59 cents before tax. With tax, Zevia will cost 43 cents more per serving. If you take a look at the charts that are posted, it will give better detail and explanation of these differences. Be sure to take notice the differences in price, prices once the sugar sweetened drinks are taxed. The prices of high fructose corn syrup induced drinks are still quite cheaper than those made with natural sugar and sweeteners. Also, take notice to how cheap a liter of soda costs at Walmart. Like I said before, like I said before, I do not believe that the people are responsible for the obesity epidemic. The soda manufacturers are. If the FDA were to regulate the use of the cheaply made high fructose corn syrup, then the prices of soda would be similar to Sprouts, naturally sweetened beverages. This will increase the cost of each drink and high consumption of soda will dec decrease naturally. The people should not be punished for something they have no control over. It is not like smoking cigarettes or doing drugs. People cannot live without food. It is important that the FDA regulates the, the manufacturers that manipulate such products into the food and drinks that we consume. Thank you. Presented to you by Erica Brown, public health undergrad at Cal Baptist University. Special thanks to public health ethics professor Dominic Sturz.